was in the kitchen cooking chicken. And Flo was turning up the dope, bro. Uncle Joe. Alright guys, I thought I'd shoot a quick video. It's a Saturday afternoon and uh, as you can see, we've got some storms getting ready to roll in. The wind's blowing and uh, that ought to provide an extra challenge here for what I'm about to do. Top Test reached out to me, wanted me to do a review on this. They sent it to me. I'm not making any money off this, but I did get a free combustible gas leak detector this is the pt 520 b plus i've had the pt 210 which is the small handheld portable and that wind's picking up this ought to be fun and i've been using this for finding little leaks around fittings and stuff and we're going to turn it on real quick this is one i'm going to do a review on but if you haven't seen this one some people have these I've had this one. Um, the advantages of this one will show up in the review, and I'm going to try to make this short. Do you have to wait for these to warm up? They do have a warm up period. This one's 30 seconds. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this. I'm going to pull it out, open it up. Uh, I haven't taken it out of the box yet. We're going to check it against butane over here on the grill, LP gas, and then we're going to check it against acetylene. I don't have any natural gas here, but if it works on these three, it's gonna work on natural gas just fine. But we're gonna put it to the test. And there, well, this thing's warmed up and you've got your high and low setting, just low or high. We'll set it on low sensitivity. And all I'm gonna do is pop the button on this. And there you go. All I did was pop the button real fast on that lighter and it picked that up. It'll eventually zero out and clear on its own. This has a zero button, so you can zero it kind of like a leak detector. But there we go, starting to settle back down. We're back to green. And I've used this and found a couple of leaks actually where I've had a, well, this past winter, around a fitting or a joint in the gas line. Um, but let's get on this one. We'll turn that off. This one comes in a little bag. This one's about $20. Depending on where you order it, I ordered it off Amazon. Wind's picking up. That wind is going to add a little extra challenge to this thing. So with that said, we're going to open this up real quick. Comes in a box. So first thing I'm noticing, it's got a kind of a soft hard shell box, similar to what the Testo refrigerant tools come in. A little soft box with a zipper. Got a lanyard on it. I'm going to open it up real quick and that's what's in the box so you're going to have the combustible leak detector you're going to have your instructions here and it looks like there's a charging cable down here in this pocket and there is and this is a usb charging cable it's not the usb c but as long as it charges it doesn't really matter um usb c usb either way everybody should have plenty of these if you don't have enough already for everything else you charge but uh it works on that it comes with an instruction book looks like and there's oh about six different languages so you can go through here and it gives you instructions on how to use it but a lot of us just usually read the general find out what each button does and then we just Usually, if you like me, through trial and error. If I need to reference the books, I, book, I will, but I just start using something, testing it, see what it does. This is a list of, let's see, I'm curious to see what gases it says that it will detect. It's a little darker out here than it looks, so I'm going to turn on the flashlight to the camera so see methane propane butane hydrogen ethanol acetylene and natural gas so pretty very I mean, most of us deal with natural gas and LP 
with heating and air residential. So that's good. Acetylene is a positive. Checking your acetylene tank, see if you've got a leak. Obviously, if you're like me, you're always gonna confirm any leaks you have with soap bubbles. Once you detect one, confirm it's there with some soap bubbles. But uh, this is a good, good type of a tool. They, they make real expensive ones. This one's about $70, $75. There'll be a link and a discount code in the description of this video. So there you go. I think it's 10% off or something like that. So we're gonna turn it on. First of all, let's stretch out the wand. So this comes in handy. If you're reaching back, maybe you're trying to use this other one and you're reaching and it's a place you can't get back to with your hand holding this other one. You can slide this. The sensor is in the tip. Just slide that back there. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on and let it warm up. So there's the display. So it looks like we have, let me turn the light on again. So we've got a sensitivity high and low button. You've got another button here for parts per million and percentage level. <coughs> Excuse me, you've got a leak or a, a mute button here if you want to mute it. Like uh, some of the leak detectors, you can double tap a button or something for refrigerant leak detectors and it'll mute the sound. Then you can just watch your graph. It's got a temperature sensor in here. This is the operating range on this is uh, maybe, I think it was 30 degrees to maybe 120, something like that. And I think that temperature sensor that's in this is tracking the operating temperature of this. So you can see what temperature you're operating it at, make sure within that range. Then there's your zero button, and obviously this is your on and off button. So, right off the bat, I mean, it feels solid. It's not, it doesn't feel like a flimsy plastic. I can't squeeze it like I'm going to break it. There's your charging port on the side, right there. And it looks like the other side is where your speaker is. And then your batteries go in the back of the battery pack. It is rechargeable. And I'm assuming the battery pack is in the back. Thunder. Yeah, thunder. That little lightning flash. It's getting ready to pour rain here. So with that said, let's see what this thing will do against a butane lighter. And right now I have it set in percentage level. We're going to switch it to parts per million, or PPM. Now we're going to zero it. And we're going to do it one more time, just a quick flick of the button on the lighter. So it does do a good job at detecting butane. Let's go see what it does with LP. guys now we're over here at the grill opened up and maybe that storm is skirting around wind still blowing a little bit little good so that, that, that wind blowing is good gives us a little extra challenge here so let me reach down here and turn the tank on and then i'm just going to turn one of these burners on and we're going to see how this thing does with lp There you go. Oops, just got a lightning flash. Probably not safe to be out here with gas testing with lightning flashing around everywhere, but anyway, we're going to put this thing to the test. Let's put it to the test. So I'm going to stick it back down in there again, and I'm going to turn that burner on low real fast and back off. There you go. So it does pick up. I'm going to turn the burner back on. So it does detect a quick flash of LP gas. And it starts to settle down. We're going to hit the mute button. And then it mutes it. 
Next test, acetylene. All right, guys, now we're going to do acetylene. Let's see how this works. The pressure on this is kind of high. There's not a real easy way to kind of just quick because these things are a little stiff. Yeah, use your refrigerant wrench or your actual tool to open one of these. Don't be the guy that uses the channel locks to open this and strips the thing all to pieces. Just word of advice. So let me crack this thing real quick. Little itty bitty, tiny amount. Let's see what it does. So it does detect acetylene. I'm gonna zero it, mute or mute it. I'm gonna unmute it. I'm gonna zero it. Now I've got that thing just barely bleeding a little bit. Mute it. Unmute it. Zero it. So it does work with acetylene gas as well. Tighten that down a little bit. Get it to stop leaking. So we've tested this against butane, LP, and acetylene. The main common gases you're going to deal with in residential heating and air conditioning are going to be acetylene, LP gas, and natural gas. Starting to get some rain. So guys, I mean, economically, at $70, get your discount in the description. There's the thunder. I mean... Would I tell you to spend $250 on this and take a chance? Probably not. But at $70, the fact that I've used that one and it's worked, there comes the rain. $70 isn't that bad. So give this thing a shot. I'm going to use it this winter, especially with the wand getting into tight spots. This thing's picking up gas while the wind's blowing out here you're not going to have wind blowing in a crawl space or in an attic maybe a package unit outside but i'm pretty impressed with it at the price point i think it's an extra tool in your in your arsenal that can help you so give it a shot guys i'm going to be using this moving forward and uh you form your own opinion like, subscribe, check out, leave a comment. But uh, I'm going to give this thing a shot. I like it. I'm going to use it. Thanks for watching, guys. It's starting to rain. Woo! It's time to go.